Hello, all developers. Good evening and welcome to another session with me, Varun, on Tech Tablet. And in today's video, we would be looking at how to import an application in SAP UI5 Fury. And this is another video onto the developer learning series of SAP UI5 Fury. Now, I'm making this video primarily because there's a lot of confusion amongst a lot of trainees. I would not say employees, but then all those who are learning as to how to import a project in SAP UI 5 or while learning SAP UI 5 into Eclipse IDE, right? So that is the reason why I'm trying to make this video. So I hope this video helps at least a few. And if in case you like my videos, you can follow me on my Facebook or on my Instagram ID on the IDs mentioned below, which is varunrao underscore gemini at yahoo.com if it is Facebook and varunrao underscore gemini if it is Instagram. So going forward, guys, this is me, Varun. Well, I uh, to talk about my experience. I have an experience of you know nearing five years. Well, this is me in the picture uh, talking here, uh, and my, uh, talking about my total five years of experience. I've been working as an app developer for a while, and then into SAP UI five Fury for good years. You know, my majority of experience is into SAP UI five Fury, and currently I am on preliminary stages of uh, IoT, AI, Python, machine learning, deep learning. So we would be hosting these videos also in a very short while, just that I got to go get some grip on these subjects, right? And as you're able to see, I am an SAP ABAP developer or SAP ABAP UI5 Fury developer who's currently transitioning into data science or Leonardo. I'm not sure where this would land me into, Right, so now uh, to understand the agenda of this session, we'll see how to import an application in Eclipse and also how to run an application. And the IDE we would be using is Eclipse. We would also see how to import an application in the other IDE, which is SAP Web IDE. Right now, I don't think I am required anymore here any longer. We leave that space for Eclipse. Right, so now going forward. <clears throat> guys, uh, this is the Eclipse ID, right? So now, in order to import an application, we generally have two procedures. Now, the first procedure is we create a, pro a project here, and then we, you know, name a project, okay? Like, I would be naming this project as import1, and I would be clicking on finish. Many people do this and then they right click on this and here you have, you will be having an option which is import, right? And then people try to search for things here, but then this is not the appropriate procedure or I would say this is not how things are to be done, okay? At least as far as Eclipse is concerned, there's a better way of doing and let us just check what it is. You can directly drag and drop things onto your Eclipse platform, right? So we'll just see how to drag and drop things onto the Eclipse platform, okay? And in order to do that, I would be just going on to my desktop and on my desktop, we'll just see how to, you know, uh, handle things. Okay, so here I have a couple of projects on my desktop which is google maps 2014 example routing and all so we'll just import a couple of applications randomly okay so the first thing that i would be importing would be my 2515 project but then how do we import or how do we get stuff from here to there is the biggest point so in order to do that the first thing that you'll have to do is to ensure that you delete the web content folder that's available in your newly created project, right? So here it goes and it asks me if I'm sure if I want to delete this, so I would go ahead and say yes. So my project is deleted. Now I would be opening this project and within this I have my web content folder, okay? So I would be copying my web content folder into my import one, okay? Now it would ask me if I want to copy the files and all, so I would say yes. Now let us just see what are the different files that it's asking or what are the different options that it has while I'm copying something. So I've just deleted the folder once again and I'm just dragging and dropping this into my import application. This would not go into the build folder, guys. It would go into the import application 
and here you would be having three options the first one would be to copy files and folders the second one would be to link the files and folders and the third one would be to link to files and also to recreate the folder structure with virtual folders so you don't have to select any of these the one which is selected by default that should do all what is required right so copy files and folders i think that should be enough so i would be doing okay and let us just see if i'm just having only a folder or if i'm having things within the folder as well so yes i have everything which is within my folder i have a fragment i have my meta inf style view which also has my controllers i have my component.js index.html and manifest.json right so i have everything that is required for me let me just run this and see if the application is successfully working or not and how do you run this guys you just go to index right click run as the app preview and select it and by the time it gets executed we'll just go into this web content folder and we'll see if we have everything running if, if we have everything you know selected from here or not so here i have fragment meta inf style view which has several you know views and controllers i have my component.js and manifest.json file all of them successfully copied right now just to be sure i would want to open this in my explorer so here goes my explorer so yes it is working perfectly so i don't have anything to worry about right so i'll be minimizing this and now that this is a huge or, or you know this is a regular structure of an application let us just go ahead and quickly import or make another application and import one more file to be sure and just to cross verify if you're doing things in the right way this time i would not be importing an entire project rather i would be importing just the view and a controller like it's just a basic view you know like a view level practice kind of an application right so i would be going ahead creating a new file it would be asking for a new selector wizard so i will be selecting an application project it's asking me for a name so i would be writing this as import 2 because import 1 is already done with i would have to uncheck the create an initial view please remember do not click on create an initial view because if you're doing so your system would come up with predefined um, you know predefined view and now which variant of predefined view is something that you would have to select here okay so whatever you select you will be having a sample you will be having a basic skeletal structure of the view so we don't want any structure we don't want any complication so we would be unchecking this and import two would be the name of my project i would go ahead and click on finish and now i would just have to you know minimize this and delete the web content folder no second thoughts guys you just have to delete it as simple as that okay so now let us just go ahead and check another folder and here i have my web content with my style which is my css file all right and this is my xml view which has a view and a controller so this is a very small application now let us see how to import this application so my web content folder is deleted right so i would be going back copying my web content folder or i don't have to copy it i can also drag and drop it here it goes into my import to application and i would not be changing this let let it just remain the way it is which would be the default mode that is copy files and folders i would click on okay and my job is done the application is copied all that you have to do is just verify if the files and folders available are similar or not so i have a meta inf file or a folder i have a style folder followed by web inf followed by xml view followed by index just to be sure let us also check elements inside the folder i have dk.jpg my css three tunnel okay so i have three images and one css folder so here we go i have three images and one css file all right uh and going ahead checking my view i have my page zero controller.js and page zero view.xml same things are here as well so yes this is also successfully imported all that i have to do now is to verify if this file is also working or not so let us just go ahead and do this now guys it's, it's very important for you to understand how to import an application how and how to and to ensure if they're working properly or not okay failing to which you definitely would be having a lot of problems when you you know try to go ahead 
and when you you know try to import an application so all those people who are learning welcome to another series of learning so in the next video what we would be doing is we would be looking at how to you know create an application from the scratch i have posted a lot of you know photos about it on facebook and instagram and also on different social platforms to spread awareness also do let your friends know about uh, about it so in the upcoming week within the upcoming week we would be looking at how to create an application structure in the first place so there are two ways of creating an application structure the first one would be using a component.js which is the earlier way of creating an application structure and the second one is using manifest.json which is the latest variant so we would be looking at both of them because i personally believe that unless you understand what is a plus b and what is a into b there's no point in teaching a plus b whole square directly that would only be avoiding uh, avoiding certain steps and that would only land you into more problems because i from from my personal experience i've tried to skip some steps i try to learn things the short way but then when i land myself in in the real time workplace i see that there's a hell lot of a difference between how things in real time work and what i've learned this for practice right so in order to ensure that you don't face that kind of a challenge when you get selected or when you when you assume a new role let's ensure that you're learning things the right way and your foundation is strong right so with an expectation that you learned something new and also with an expectation that you enjoyed watching whatever was shown here this is me varun rao logging off and if in case you like the video guys hit the like button to let us know that you like the video and also if you feel that this might be useful for your friends hit the share button without any second thoughts and if there's any query that you have or you feel that there's anything missing please use the comment section below i would definitely try to make up to it and make another video if there's anything missing or if there's something that you feel that's going wrong have a great day all the best for the for the interview or for for the new job role that you're about to assume this is me varun rao logging off